Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalkar. In this hexagon, all sides have the same length and opposite sides are parallel. The distances between opposite sides are equal to 237, 195, and 192. What is the area of the hexagon? I admit, I did not solve this problem. The puzzle and its solution were created by Elliot Line, editor of Mensa's Enigma magazine. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. One way to approach the problem is to append a right triangle to each side of the hexagon. First, we will extend the top and bottom opposite sides such that we construct a purple and a green right triangle. The shorter legs will be parallel to each other, and the longer legs will be collinear and they will intersect at a vertex of the hexagon. The two longer legs will have a total length of 237. Next, we will append a congruent purple triangle, and we will append a congruent green triangle. For the remaining two sides, we will extend the longer leg of this purple right triangle and construct a blue triangle. Finally, we will extend the longer leg of the green right triangle, and we will construct another right triangle. And notice the two right triangles we've constructed will be congruent to each other. We again have the distances of the collinear sides as shown. Before we go further, let me preview the final calculation. Suppose the hexagon has a side length equal to x. How could we solve for the area of the hexagon? Take a point in the interior. Now consider these two triangles. Let's say their heights are a and b. We know the areas of these two triangles will be 1 half x times a plus 1 half x times b, and that's equal to 1 half times x times the quantity a plus b. But we know that a plus b is equal to 237, so the sum of these two areas will be 1 half multiplied by x multiplied by 237. We can do a similar construction for these two triangles, and we'll get the sum of their areas will be equal to 1 half multiplied by x multiplied by 195. We finally do the same thing for these two triangles, and we get that their areas will have a sum that's equal to 1 half x multiplied by 192. We can factor out x over 2, and we get that the total area of the hexagon is equal to x over 2 multiplied by the sum of these heights. So all that remains is to solve for x. How are we going to do that? Let's go back to our diagram. Suppose the long leg of the purple right triangle is equal to A, and the long leg of the green right triangle is equal to B. Finally, suppose this leg of the blue right triangle is equal to C. We can now set up that A plus B is equal to 237, A plus C is equal to 195, and finally B plus C is equal to 192. We'll solve this system of equations for A, B, and C. One way to do that is to take the sum of these three equations. We'll get 2 multiplied by the sum of a, b, and c is equal to 624. We divide by 2 to get the sum of a, b, and c. From here, we could take the sum of the three variables and subtract the first equation to get that c is equal to 75. We can then subtract the second equation to get b is equal to 117. We then subtract the third equation to get a is equal to 120. Thus, we have values for a, b, and c. Now, let's consider x as the side length of the hexagon, and suppose that we mark the angles as a, b, and c. In this right triangle, we have x is equal to a divided by the sine of angle a. In this green right triangle, we have x is equal to b over the sine of angle b. And in this blue right triangle, we have x is equal to c divided by the sine of angle c. Now let's consider the angles a, b, and c. Notice that they are exterior angles to this hexagon. Because opposite sides are parallel, this exterior angle will be equal to a, 
this exterior angle will be equal to B, and this exterior angle will be equal to C. Therefore, we have 2 multiplied by the sum of the angles A, B, and C will be equal to 360 degrees. That's because the sum of exterior angles will be equal to 360 degrees. We divide both sides by 2 to get A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, A, B, and C can be angles in a triangle because the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. From here, we can scale this triangle in such a way that the side opposite angle A has exactly the length of 120, which is equal to A. Because we've derived this relationship, we can use the law of sines that we can get the side opposite angle B will have exactly the length of 117, which is equal to B, and the side opposite angle C will have a length that's equal to 75, which is lowercase c. From here, we can just consider these equations. Using Al-Kashi's law of cosines, we can solve that a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of angle a. We can use this equation to solve for the cosine of angle a. We know the values of sides a, b, and c, and we substitute those in to get the cosine of angle a is equal to 7 over 25. We can then solve for the sine of angle A, and we get this is equal to 24 over 25. Then we know that X is equal to A divided by the sine of angle A. We can substitute in the value for A and the sine of angle A, and we get that X is equal to 125. We can then go back to our procedure for solving for the area, and remember that the formula was the following. We simply need to substitute x is equal to 125 and evaluate, and we get the area of the hexagon is equal to 39,000. Amazing! Thanks for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. See you next episode as we continue our quest to solve the world's problems one video at a time.